Hey guys! Now I'm going to do my September TBR. This TBR is very, very ambitious, but these are also books that have been on my shelf for a long, long time that I need to read and move to a different shelf. The book that I am currently reading that will probably be done in like the next week or so is um, The Martian by Andy Weir. I have 100 pages left. I'm on page 269 and there's 369 pages. So I have exactly 100 pages left. And if I can read 25 pages every day, I will finish this book. I don't really care if my neighbors watch me record or film or whatever, because they don't know me. It's my parents that I'm afraid of. Not afraid. Nobody's home. Thank you. Say though, once you get past all the science and stuff, this book is hilarious, but it's about a man who goes to Mars. Six days ago, astronaut Mark Watney became one of the first people to walk on Mars. Now he's sure he'll be the first person to die here. Um, he's stuck on Mars. Like, his crewmates thought he was dead, and now he has to live on Mars on his own with the remnants of what his team left when they took off. It's very good. Um, just the fact that he keeps a sense of humor in this book is just so refreshing and so good. Yep, The Martian by Andy Weir. Two thumbs up. I, sh I did this. <laughs> And I was gonna say two stars, but I was like, no. I give this book much more than me. You guys like my hair, by the way? I kind of like this, like, 90s side pony, but at the same time, I am all forehead. I think I should, like, pull down bangs or something. Pull down these little bangs right here. This is not a hair talk video. This is a book video. Next book that has a bookmark in it that I really want to read is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This book is very thick, but it's super light. Like, this book is super light. I don't know what it is about this book, but it makes me want to, like, like throw it around only because it, I don't know. It's incredibly light, and it's not floppy. 480 pages. This book is 480 pages. I have the second one, but not the third one. I don't like the original covers. I I really like these white covers with the red. The other one... <laughs> Again, like, I know that I have said this already, but these books are, like, stupid light. Like, these books are so light, it's awesome. I love the white cover with the colored uh, binding spines. So the next book I'm going to, I'm planning on reading in September, if I get around to dark places. This book will be second, but if I don't, this will be the next book I read after The Martian. Um, I probably won't get to dark places, just being honest with you guys. I'm very excited about this book. I read um, A Monster Call. I read A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, and that book was amazing. His writing is absolutely incredible. He's pretty handsome, too. He's like 40 something, I think. I'm very excited for this. I, I really want, I really want his other books more than this, The Crane Wife and The Rest of Us Just Live Here. I really want those books. I'm like obsessed with Patrick Ness and I need Monsters of Men too. I need the third book. van has been driving around like I've seen that van like six times so this is the next book I'm gonna pick up I am very excited about it Patrick Ness two, two thumbs up two stars this video is a disaster I'm not going to like 100% read this book only because it's just got like a bunch of short stories in it and I have been having withdrawals from Stephen King. So I'm going to not invest myself in a 500 page book. 
I'm going to invest myself in short stories. So this is Stephen King's Night Shift. It is just a bunch of super uh, King's first collection of short stories showcases the darkest depths of his brilliant imagination. I have two more books, guys. We are in the home stretch. The um, next book I'm going to read, these books, and again, there's no like set, these are the books I'm going to read. If I'm like, hey, don't really want to read Knife of Never Letting Go, I think I want to read this book. I'm going to read that book. I'm going to read um, The Knife of Never Letting Go next, Night Shift periodically, and then after The Knife of Never Letting Go, if I finish it, um, it's going to be The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer, only because my best friend, Fabby, her, somebody in her class did a book report on it, and they said that it was amazing. So this book has been on my shelf for over a year. So I'm going to read it. What? Come here. Come here. Hi, dogs. Kiss me, dog. Oh, thank you. That was pretty gross. Don't sniff my armpits. Hi. He's, he's stressed because there's a storm outside and he's a little bit stressed about it. Um... So this is the next book I want to read because she said that the kid in her class said it was like amazing. So the next book I want to read has also, this TBR is books that I've been on my shelf for way too long that I haven't read yet. And let's just say all five of these books have been on my shelf for way too long. Next book I want to read is Wonder by RJ Palacio. I don't know. A lot of people have read this book and they said it was very sad. They cried a lot. But... Again, this book has been on my shelf for far too long, and I need to get to it, and I need to read it. And last, but most, most definitely not least, is a book that I had started, but had to put down, only because it wasn't, I hate to say it wasn't interesting me, I feel like I need to read this book slowly to kind of get a better feel for it. Um, I feel like I need to savor this book more than I would have if I read it the first time. And I also... Hi! Last book that I want to read in the month of September, which will probably not even happen. I'll probably get halfway through Knife of Never Letting Go, if we're honest. Um, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. So these books... Wow. These are the books that I plan on reading in the month of September. I probably won't even finish this one. I will probably take a month to read it too. But a book a month is better than no books a month. That's what I say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're... Oh. I was going to say, if you're going to get down or if you're going to move, I'm going to need you to do it now. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below for future videos you'd like to see, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!